In the late 19th century, a philosopher by the name of Friedrich Nietzsche delved into the uncharted depths of the human psyche, leaving a profound impact on the world of psychology. Join us on a journey as we explore Nietzsche's fascinating insights and unravel the mysteries of the human mind. Welcome to our video, Becoming Who You Are, Nietzsche's Psychological Odyssey. In the autumn of his writing career, Nietzsche spoke of being a psychologist without equal. His vision was clear to understand the essence of human nature and the path to self-actualization. That a psychologist without equal speaks from my writings. This is perhaps the first insight gained by a good reader. Nietzsche saw himself as a pioneer in psychology claiming that he was the first philosopher to truly explore the human psyche. Despite some criticism, his influence on psychology's giants like Freud, Jung, and Adler couldn't be denied. Nietzsche's psychological ventures were not mere theoretical exercises. He believed that knowledge should serve a higher purpose to energize life itself. I hate everything that merely instructs me without augmenting or directly invigorating my activities. Nietzsche's ultimate quest was to discover how one could become their true self. His autobiography's subtitle, Exe Homo, How One Becomes What One Is, encapsulated this pursuit. Quote, Slide, Nietzsche, what does your conscience say? You shall become the person you are. Nietzsche challenged the status quo, criticizing his predecessors for their limited exploration of the psyche. He believed they were hindered by moral prejudices and a fear of delving into the depths. All psychology so far has got hung up on moral prejudices and fears. It has not dared to descend into the depths. To become who you are, Nietzsche insisted on exploring the labyrinthine depths within. Although risky, this journey was essential for those seeking self-discovery. He enters a labyrinth and multiplies a thousandfold the dangers that life in itself brings with it, of which not the least is that nobody can see how and where he loses his way, becomes solitary and is torn to pieces by some cave minoter of conscience. Nietzsche understood that the human psyche is not a singular entity, but a multiplicity of drives and impulses. To achieve harmony, he proposed the concept of an organizing idea as the central guiding force. The most general picture of our essence is an association of drives with constant rivalry and particular alliances with each other. The past resides within us shaping our nature through history, culture, and ancient instincts. Nietzsche, shh, the importance of engaging with history to attain self-knowledge. Direct self-observation is not nearly sufficient for us to know ourselves. We need history, for the past flows on within us in a hundred waves. Rather than suppressing our primal drives, Nietzsche encouraged embracing and channeling them properly to energize our lives. The most short-sighted and pernicious way of thinking wants to make the great sources of energy, those wild torrents of the soul that often stream forth so dangerously and overwhelmingly, dry up altogether instead of taking their power into service and economizing it. By harmonizing the conflicting drives and impulses, Nietzsche believed we could discover our purpose, creating a sense of self through the pursuit of our dominant passion. To make ourselves, to shape a form from various elements, that is the task, the task of a sculptor, of a productive human being. Nietzsche's psychological insights continue to captivate and challenge us to this day. Let us not dismiss his wisdom based on his own struggles, but embrace his visionary quest for self-discovery. As we journey through life, may we all strive to become who we are. 
Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Mitsu's psychological journey. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with others seeking self-discovery. Subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. And remember, he who has a why to live can bear almost any how. Until next time, discover more about the fascinating world of philosophy and psychology by checking out our other videos. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay updated with our latest uploads. Follow us on social media for daily inspiration and discussions. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next 